I'll never forget the day my freshman year of college friend Jessica found out I was planning to save sex for marriage. So you're telling me you would never test drive a car before buying it? Looking back on that encounter now, I think of all the ways I could have responded. People and cars are not the same thing, and equating driving one to marital intimacy with your spouse is a huge misunderstanding of the purpose of love and sex. We don't need to perform well to be worthy of a lifelong commitment. While this friend is no longer in my life, I can't help but wonder, what if her own ideas and thoughts began to seep into my worldview? There's a temptation to conform our ideas when we believe there isn't anyone out there who thinks the same way. Regardless of how rampant the hookup culture appears, there are people choosing to live the virtue of chastity. There's a perception that every college student prescribes by a no strings attached, casual hookup lifestyle, but statistics tell us otherwise. Research has found that college students do not have more frequent sex or more sexual partners than undergraduates in previous eras. Only about 15% of college students actually enjoy hooking up, and about one third of college students will not hook up at all their entire college career. It is a lie to believe that there is no one on campus who holds the same ideals. They're out there, but it will involve a little bit of seeking. See if your campus has a Newman Club, Pro-Life Club, or other faith-based clubs. This will help you stay away from peer pressure and find like-minded people who will become some of your greatest friends. One of the most important aspects of college is finding friends to walk with and who will help you grow in virtue. It was in college that my commitment to chastity began to be fully practiced. I had to constantly remind myself of the emptiness of living amidst the hookup culture and the pain that comes from being used. There came a point when I had to make a decision that was for my greatest good and own what I believed. My prayer for you is that you would never settle because it's popular, comfortable, or convenient. You are not alone. You are made for greatness. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check back every Monday for more videos, but until then, click here to subscribe and here for more videos.